Hello, my cat tarot friends. This is Cat, and this is like my introduction to the X spread, which we're going to actually uh, look into today. So, please, if you haven't been here before, or if you've forgotten why I'm doing this, just spend this couple of minutes to view it. Um, if you are already familiar with it and you're following the series, check down in the description, and you're going to see the link that you can click in and just move on to the reading for your sign. So, what is this? Every sign is going to have exactly the same header. These are just the chapters. Just imagine like in a school, you have to write an essay and a teacher kind of gives you, well, these are the chapters you need to cover. I have developed this spread, I call it Cat Terror Knows X spread, but I'm also applying this to relationships because for relationships and people who need to inquire, I will just remove the knight and I'll put a king. Also, if there are two women, I would put two queens or two kings or two knights, depending on who is the couple, who is the person inquiring. Since many of you who are listening this X spread ask me to do this reading for them i'm actually putting it on a special so check it out on my website www.cattarot.ca under uh, book your reading just scroll it down to basically x spread also if you are on enough relationship this is going to be spread for you because what it does it gives me slices through the past through present that I can actually connect and check what might happen in the future. So why am I choosing these seven cards? It kind of really, sp I, I spent lots of time getting to this. So it was not an easy process. But each of them is giving me a category that I want to figure out in order to figure out how your relationship works and if can it work at all. Sometimes the most beautiful couplehoods just don't work out. And sometimes you see couples that you're wondering why they are together. And I think the seven categories are going to explain that for me. So the very first significator, the magician, in this category, I'm going to find out what are the tools you're given as a relationship. For example, if you're baking a bread, you need flour, you need salt, you need sugar, you need yeast, you need baking power. Um, I don't know, eggs, and then you can put extra ingredients. You can put raisins, you can put cinnamon, um, you can put seeds, right? So what if you only have water and bread? What if you have all the ingredients and you don't have water? So if an essential ingredient is missing, no amount of work is going to make this possible. Right? So I'm actually trying to see here if this relationship was ever a starter. So the second card, temperance, I am using that reversed purposely. Because in the upright situation, temperance is basically turning you into light. Everything can actually be made in this situation. Like there is a growth, there is a connectivity. And you see the angel is putting two different things together, just like two people have to come together. So when this usually comes in a reading and talks about moderation, balance, okay, the couple go together. The reason why I'm in this category looking in the reverse situation is because I do want to see what is unglued in this relationship because that glue kind of sticks us together even if we have bad times. So these kind of like are categories that really, really have to be looked at if this is a starter. Now, this is going to be one significator for one partner and this is going to be significator for another partner and this is going to represent the energy and the con com communication and connection between the two. So how he sees you, how he sees himself, how she sees you, how she sees herself, right? And what's going on? What's kind of like attention? What's kind of expression? What kind of love is in between is going to kind of come in these categories. The judgment is one of my four karma cards. And I really want to see here, okay, with all things given, how did you make that bread? How did you make it work up to this point? 
what is karma saying? Are you fulfilling the promise of this relationship? Is karma saying run? Is karma saying stay? Sometimes you get really surprising results because sometimes the connection is karmic and people are supposed to kind of fulfill their contract and fulfill their destiny. And the very last category is very pragmatic category. And this is the one you want to know. Hey, are we getting together? Are we not getting together? Is there a next step for this relationship? What is the quality of this relationship? Keep in mind that sometimes I will tell you, yes, guys, you will get together. But sooner or later, you're going to run into different problems and you have to work on that. So when you take a private reading with me, I kind of discover all of that. So let's jump into your own readings and let's go from there hi leo we are coming to october and let's see what october holds for you but before i start actually, i don't know if i shuffled enough let's just do one more time leo October is your ex coming back. Leo, October is your ex coming back. Leo, October is your ex coming back. Leo, October is your ex coming back. Oops. October is your ex coming back. Leo, October is your ex coming back. Okay, so before we jump into October, let's just check what kind of situation we actually have as a foundation so huh nine of wands so being bruised and battled but you're kind of coming up with a strategy how do i make this work i'm still kind of going i am still not giving up i am not waving that white flag i'm just continuing so bite me kind of a thing right so what needs to be fixed that indecision and you possibly could be in some kind of limbo there is inability to kind of see things clearly for some reason and it's kind of like fire and air uh, issues kind of occupying your energy over here so between you and a partner i guess either of them can be you so what's going on here look the empress the reversed hmm <laughs> you might be clinging a little bit onto somebody or it could be the energy that is, is not necessarily here in full balance the empress is generally a mother and kind of moving forward and it's creativity and being seen as the perfect woman and here it's kind of like superficial kind of like not giving yourself in entirely and not really jumping in with two feet and at least this is how you're seen just don't kill the messenger right so look you have eight on eight so okay so there is understanding that communication had to be built and had to be consistent and had to be kind of like really um, somebody had to pay attention to some kind of details so these are all really good discoveries right in dating pentacles are good because it's all great to have passion and this is kind of like that love but generally to make things work it comes down on pentacles level so look at that uh, your partner is is really kind of preoccupied with you this could be two people also guys it could be that there is another woman here that could be a mother or could be somebody so it's kind of weird like you're thinking about x and he's thinking about you or it could be still somebody hovering because this also can mean choice between two people and and you are kind of wondering what kind of choice would be made so what is karma saying karma saying there is uh you know the world is not turning and you know that's kind of the end of the world if this happens this guy uh, leo you are here it's kind of really hard for a fixed sign to kind of like s stay off the course kind of literally have to have good reasoning and it could be your partner that they are not changing their ways right they kind of like want you there but somehow this can mean the world has to rotate around them and you have to kind of get <laughs> on their own them projects so let's see how that would work for you 
that's not generally in your own temperament, but let's see. So the quality of relationship, look at this. The lovers uh, are reversed. So hmm. the lovers is about choice. And again, we had this choice here. Now this is a louder message. It's kind of like you're feeling maybe um, that you are not the one who will be chosen. And hence, there is like this feeling of being stuck in the past one of you is being stuck in the past and one of you is being um, focused on maybe issues that have been experienced right it's kind of all over the place there are issues over there and everybody's thinking about different things here so let's come to october and see what's going to be happening from now to october the 10th the sun reverse that kind of guys would be you and it is right after this all right after nine we get into ten and one and this will be 19 which will be 10 but it's reversed so even though you just kind of want to go further it's maybe a burnout or an inability to get complete clarity in a situation so you kind of like want to celebrate something but almost like you feel like if you do that you're going to kind of curse it as like I don't know how to better explain this to you so what needs to be fixed um, well you feel that your partner has to make this choice there is like some kind of limbo that I'm seeing over here so what is basically happening here perception is again this is a husband or a wife just like what I saw here is there somebody that is married over here look at this two kings like it looks like both you and your partner need to kind of really really be important and it's just this is a really good card to be seen not when it's reversed when it's upright so it could be you could be also seen as somebody out authoritative somebody who has money is purging money showing off kind of a thing right because both empress and king of pentacles are wealthy and look at this oh my gosh so many people there is like some kind of like breakup guys so who is breaking up here with whom wow okay so it's going to be very tumultuous period just heads up again read how i read go and check my how i read tarot cards thing because the partner you're with is stuck in some kind of situation so yes there is somebody third in here and it's kind of like feeling either it's a huge attraction or this could be a wife or, or somebody because look at this this is kind of like um the same coin two different sides but since this is reversed it's just like this card because look at this we do have an angel and a devil and we have this choice but here is the free choice and here is this i'm stuck I kind of like I'm in the dark I really don't know what is the way out and almost like you are being looked upon to kind of find solutions but when you do find a solution you're being told no 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 and no and hence this kind of like the whole system this mashup continues but it looks like like to me that what is confusing there are so many people here who are these people Leo one two three four five people who are these people I mean of course the same card can be different facets of yourself but and this could be a breakup but we are still left with three people over here four so okay so ultimately right the the walls have to kind of come down like there is a certain kind of like defense system and and you know it it is a self-protectiveness that kind of like is really not uh, serving anymore and it looks like this is your partner they kind of want you but they are not opening themselves to you and hence you know uh, there is like this obviously uh, passion and intrigued and kind of like things and but also it's the feeling of being stuck and this can also mean being stuck in a marriage and yeah there is a third person here again and just like here right we have two people and the angel it's kind of this choice do you want to choose this beautiful woman and this kind of temptation or do you really want to continue your life and see what else is in your life and here we have okay so which one are you are you the one who is giving or the one who is taking because look at this merchant his scale is like even right 
but it's reversed. So everybody is kind of like getting short of kind of like moving forward. So what is really good about this basically spread, at least, is that at least there is an approach that we kind of have to ground ourselves. Grounding ourselves is kind of really, really important over here. So let's go and see from the 11th to the 20th. So the energy is getting stuck, but it's again pentacles. Mind you, this is also somebody who dwells on self-pity, and that's absolutely something I personally hate because, you know, it is, it's not even depression. It's actually, to me, a highly controlling behavior. And this also talks about control. And this also talks about addictions. So it, it's when somebody's controlling, they actually think that their way is the best way. And sometimes this is why they end up not being happy because not being open to solutions. And this is why this is asking for taking these walls down. So there you go. You know, uh, there is a need to look in different person's perspective. This kind of has to be remedied. If there is uh, emotional manipulation, kind of like this has to be clarified and decision has to be made. And it's kind of like time is coming for that right and there you go look at this you have the temperance upright so you're saying okay you know what maybe things were going up and down but now is the time right time for the right person for the right occasion for the right circumstances so temperance is alchemist like merging two people who maybe do not necessarily kind of like would fit together because obviously in this category it's not the best kind of ingredients for baking a cake kind of it's a stale flour you know the eggs are runny and you kind of like a tried a few times and it's like not moving forward it's like okay I'll keep trying but this is saying okay you know what in spite of it let's keep going right but there is like this fear that this is going to end up in, with issues or this is also the fear this can also mean um, somebody's not happy at home could be you are not happy at home you're not feeling happy in your home life or this person is not providing this happiness that you think you deserve and they are trying to get over something or somebody or this is again that self-pity kind of thing this could be self-pity about where I'm in life oh you know I deserve so much better but just like this is where I am well dust off kind of like put your resume together kind of like start looking for a partner be a better person yourself same thing here it's like the easiest to kind of cross your arms just like here look at this we have those two fours right now just like start kind of like motion the life rewards basically action and there is this third person this person is almost like it's kind of weird usually i would say hey this person is a cheater but this person is now with somebody they want to be with and yet they are with. So what is the reason here behind that? Is that a wife? But I don't see children either. Well, maybe that can be a child. But it's more an attitude. So the solution here is communication because it's a lots of things. One party is like very positive, finally saying, okay, now I'm getting back on the horse. I want to kind of continue with this. But the other party is like, I mean, party pooper sort of a thing, right? So let's see the last 10 days. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles. Now we have King and Queen of Pentacles. So are you guys not together? But this is kind of promising. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, let's this could be a wife also so let's see how this actually turns out okay queen of swords page of swords so that could be a child but this could be also checking up on somebody checking their facebook instagram you know kind of drive by their home phone calls unknown number sort of a thing right and maybe checking this what's happening with this third person as well this also could be uh, be a visit to a tarot reader and kind of getting this insight that maybe a person don't want to tell you there it is it's a karma card right so it's cutting through things and this means something will start happening really really quickly some kind of communication this is the end of the october over here and there are like new crossroads here and it is good in fact here is that you feel you will feel at this point that the investment you have made 
you know, make and can work out, possibly can work out, and you're kind of choosing to maybe cut your losses and just still continue. As far as them, they're still <laughs> continuing. Sorry to laugh, but it's just like, oh, I'm such a big victim. Oh, I'm not doing well. I just and now they're going to complain how hard is their life, how how much burden they have to carry, where they are pretty much the reason for their own things and just have to get up. And they just keep looking at you as a solution that you kind of have to resolve their problems. This person is is needing to kind of wake up. And look, the judgment came in the judgment category reverse. So they are choosing wrong things. This is to me also a card of feeling entitled. This is also to me a card of like three things, three bad things happen simultaneously. Something has been really hard. And of course, hey, when you're negative, when you bring that vibration, everything starts to happen around you. Try to go and talk to people, try to kind of bark at people, try to be moody and see what happens, what comes back. This kind of is that kind of Mr. Grump or Mrs. Grump over here, right? And this has to stop. Uh, this literally has to stop. I mean, mind you, this can also mean somebody that is a Scorpio, but it has to be transformed this cannot continue this person has to kind of get their act together i'm actually really surprised because i can't wait for uh, november for you guys to be continued because this is telling me uh this person is probably going to get tower let me see is it <laughs> the justice is came like um, no no this person has to get it right so they are getting uh I'm not going to su I'm not going to spoil the surprise for you. Let me just say this way to be continued. Let's see what happens in November. But this person needs to kind of get themselves fixed and kind of understand the potential that you have inside of yourself because it looks like there's so many loose ends over here, guys. And you want to move forward like you are the ones who are really, really positive. In spite of you actually not feeling super happy about the situation, you keep going forward consistently. Pentacles are good. But this person keeps kind of ripping some ideas and concepts, etc. So they have to fix themselves. And the kind of thing that you are fixing, the issue, you just can't fix it. You cannot change the person. They have to just be able to do it themselves. So Leo, this is a general reading. Let me just say this and you can beat it. This is like what is going to be happening. So you know how to intersect it and you can beat it. But at the same time, it's also giving you a vision of, you know, how you are growing and what you're growing into, what they're growing into. So if they are not willing to roll up their sleeves, right, you have to make your own decision from that point on. However, for the really accurate reading, for your personal reading, contact me for a private reading this x reading uh, is on special for 50 dollars and you can check this one or the other readings on my site at www.cattero.ca and lastly guys thank you everybody for being uh, continuing to visit and continuing to subscribe if you're new please subscribe and like and lastly you know thank you for you know being joining my facebook and commenting over there and until the next time, Leo, you know, stay strong. It's going to be a really interesting month. So let's see what happens in your monthlies, which are coming out until the 1st of October. Okay. Love you guys.